Okay, so the weird thing is that we're all wearing camo today. Except me. Except for Sean and, and Raiden. <laughs> yeah. So Maya's wearing camo. They're both wearing camo. No, but like, I, 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 I'm curious. What made us want to wear green? Nothing. It's just, <laughs> just us picking our outfit for the day. It's just a coincidence. Yeah. Well, that's Okay, sad. well, this is the Live and Five show. I'm Maya. And I'm Sean. Your favorite Star Wars animation is back. More information about the new Star Wars Clone Wars and today's hot topics. For you rock stars, how would you like to live in a guitar hotel? Find out about it in today's hot topics. Meow. Sadly, no more. Find out more on You Heard It Here. We got baseball, more to come on sports. We've got all this and more right after the break. I am Tetzlaw, California. We are Tetzlaw, California. I am Tetzlaw, California. We are Tetzlaw, California. We are Tetzlaw, California. I am Tetzlaw, California. I am Tetzlaw, California. I am Tetzlaw, California. And we're back. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. Pacific American Heritage Month with Miles from Tomorrowland. Greetings, space adventurers. We've had a lot of fun exploring new worlds. My friends Henry and Caroline know someone who's also flown in spaceships and has even lived in space. Hey, Miles. That's right. Meet our dad. He's an astronaut. My name is Leroy Chow, and I'm an astronaut. I commanded the International Space Station and got to do a lot of cool experiments. Dad's got a great story about how he became an astronaut. Well, as a boy, I looked up at the sky and I dreamed about getting to go fly into space myself. Now, as an astronaut, I get to study the entire universe. Dad's blast-tastic! Will you become an astronaut? Be inspired with Miles from Tomorrowland. Due to cast testing, we will be on block schedule, but don't worry, we only have a few more days, including today, left of testing. 
Miss Alessa will be composting leftover foods to help her worms thrive. And now you can also help her with this mission during lunch and nutrition in the quad. Library finds have been delivered to you students. Please pay the librarian either before school, during nutrition, lunch, or after school. Again, fines may be repaid before or after school or during snack or lunch time. Come on down to Downey Theater to see the Red Carpet Media Festival take action. The event will take place next Tuesday at, again, the Downey Theater. All the festivities will start at 6 p.m., so make sure you mark your calendars because the Red Carpet Media Festival is almost here. If you're an 8th grader and have missed the cap and gown pictures, there will be retakes tomorrow. Again, there's retakes for cap and gown pictures for 8th grade graders on Friday. On June 4th from 5.30 to 6, 7 p.m., there will be an award ceremony recognizing the high achieving 8th graders. They will be given their medals, which they will, they will also wear on the day of their promotion. Again, congrats to high achieving 8th graders. Now 7th graders, the end of the year is almost here, which means it's time to head to John's Incredible Pizza. If you'd like to attend, permission slips must be turned in today and Friday before school in front of room 305. The trip costs $15 in cash only. Do you want to help your school? Well then come on down to Islands on June 5th to help support the Gardening Club. And that wraps it up for the Ted's Law Play by Play. Hey Maya, guess what? What? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back. It's time to get into today's Hot Topics. The Star Wars spin-off show that premiered on Cartoon Network made a new season. That's right, The Clone Wars is back with season number 7 of the show. In 2014, the show came to an unexpected stop when Disney bought Lucasfilm, created by George Lucas. But at Comic Con early this year, fans of the show were granted with a surprise trailer with the title Clone Wars Saved. Hey Maya, guess what, you remember the thing I was telling you earlier? A new hotel is that is shaped like a guitar is set to open in South Florida this fall. This guitar shaped 400 foot tall hard rock hotel in Hollywood, Florida officially opens in October 24th. However, room re reservations can be made online starting July 24th. The musical element in the hard rock hotel is an enormous part of what defines them. The showstopper of this hotel is almost guaranteed to be hard rock life. Approximately 100 concerts a year will be held at this space. This hotel also includes a family-friendly man-made lake featuring paddle boats and a lazy river, a 12,000-foot rooftop bar and lounge areas, as well as retail stores and large spaces for conventions that will also be part of this hotel. As for the bedrooms, they'll start at 515 square feet and go up from there. Now it's time to hang out and see what's up with the analysis. Welcome to another episode of Film Analogy. I'm Sean.
John. I'm Rocco. And I'm Lorenzo. And today we will be having a trailer breakdown for the next and last Star Wars movie of the trilogy, Rise of the Skywalker. In the end of April, a teaser trailer was released for the new Star Wars movie, The Rise of Skywalker. It shows Rey, Finn, in their final battle against the Empire, risen from the Sith, having to deal with the loss of both Han Solo and Luke Skywalker, and the directors having to deal with the re recent loss of the actor for Chewbacca, Peter Mayhew. How... So how will Star Wars? So how will the Star Wars behind the scenes crew find? Today's show will be a sad one. It'll be a so bad you'll think it's a tad depressing. Grumpy Cat, whose grumpiness brought us joy, had left the world at the age of six. She didn't even start her first grade yet. Her real name was Tartar Sauce and rose to fame after a Reddit post went viral in 2012. You know what Reddit is, right? <laughs> no, not really. I actually don't know, but Grumpy Cat quickly became a meme. Her owners say her perpetual frown are sm and small sm size are due to feline dwarfism. Um, sorry. There have been so many internet cats, but this one is, is just like one, it's one that is special. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> have a twam-tastic day, but for now it's off to sports. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, Tesloff. Um, you guys already know our name, so this is good. Yeah, for soccer news, Barcelona have wrapped up a deal for Groningen's teenage midfielder Lodovic Reese with the youngster moving to Camp Nou on a long-term contract that includes a 100 million euro release clause. All right, from baseball, yesterday's games, the Red Sox and Blue Jays played six to five, Red Sox won. The Dodgers and Rays played, Rays blew them out eight to one. Nationals and Mets play six to one. Mets won. And yeah. And yeah, that's all the time we have for today. Now let's it on to the world news. people have been evacuated from their homes in northern Alberta to escape a devastating blaze that has reached nearly 230 acres. The Chuck A. Creek wildfire has been burning and torching the ground for more than just two days and is just one of the out-of-control wildfires in the area. This wildfire is a level 6 out of 6 on the fire intensity scale. About 90 firefighters and staff on the ground, 25 helicopters, Air tankers and 10 structural protection units and heavy machinery are attempting to fight the fire, which is still out of control. Along with the dry and hot conditions, the danger will only increase. Mandatory evacuations have occurred for the nearby towns in the province and in a nearby town called Slave Lake. It is also on high alert, where four new fires began on Tuesday. Luckily, no injuries have been reported and community members are attempting to help residents that are that have been displaced due to the fire. It seems like lately we've been having a lot of like weather and uh, natural disasters. What caused the yeah. fire though? Those problems. Did it say what caused the fire? Um, no. It's Maybe like, it was it's, like a forest it's fire or something. A, it started in a creek. And it's been um, burning for two days? Two days. And it's only one of the fires Some it said. Wait, it started in a creek? That, though. You Some know, I've water. actually it's heard creek. of a fire that's burned since like the 18th century. Like something. a muck fire, right? Yeah, like yeah, a muck fire. fire. Tangerine. Tangerine. Yeah. <laughs> Tangerine from Miss Anderson's class. I remember that book. And now it's time to check out today's FYI. How heavy is a redwood tree? 
1 million pounds, 2 million pounds, 3 million pounds, or 4 million pounds. Take 5. A redwood tree is 4 million pounds. And now it's time for Did You Know with Tommy. So our guest today is Raj and Joshua. <clears throat> so what would you like to talk about? Uh, we'd like to talk about MUN, which MUN for FUN, because MUN is fun. Um, MUN is basically an elective that uh, an elective in that we have in this school that um, Mr. Mendes usually um, picks out the most advanced history students from his class to invite to his, um, MUN. However, you can sign up for MUN regardless. You just have to get a for, um, signature for. Uh, from your uh, so we go on conferences and uh, represent our country and uh, study our, the topic and speak about it, and that's all we do. And, a and afterwards, when you're done with, <clears throat> and afterwards when you're done with the conferences, we do a lot of um, just hot topics where we pick out a modern topic that we talk about, such as Kashan's legendary anti-vax speech. Is it fun? Uh, yeah, it's, I'd say it's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, just it's a big workload that you have to put on yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you can exert yourself, you exert yourself to challenge it. It's for 8th graders too? Uh, it's only 8th Next year. <laughs> Seems pretty cool. Interesting. Anything else? Um, well, one thing, more thing we can add about MUN is probably how great um, Mr. Mendez is because he taught us basically everything and you just go in. Well, your first conference is always the hardest. We went to Cerritos High School for that one. Pretty cool. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. And we'll see everyone back here tomorrow morning.